Shafley Sporting Goods carries a full line of uh, basic core product. Football helmets, shoulder pads, baseball, softball bats, ball gloves, field hockey sticks, lacrosse sticks, volleyballs, volleyball knee pads, catcher's gear. If you play for any team, we will have uniforms, we will have equipment and hard goods in order to make that team happen. My late husband started the business in 1968. I worked at a bank. And my husband went out. He was uh, out, he was outside at that time, uh, outside salesman. And I stood at the floor, and I knew nothing about sporting. And first thing I remember, they called up and they wanted to know if we got chucks. Well, I didn't know what chucks was, and it was the most famous Condor shoe around. But I didn't know that. So finally, I had to get a little education about things like that. But finally, we got more help. But I, we started out just two of us on this uh, in this store. That's oh, pretty I nice like stuff. That, don't you? And you got that yeah. two color front. You uh -huh. got two color back. And, and the whole family has been involved in our business. And uh, right now, Mike, my only son, is uh, the leader. I'd say, but Trish, Carl, is right behind him. They keep it going. <laughs> I started uh, as a part-time position when I was a junior in high school uh, and left uh, after I graduated from Prez uh, and I went to uh, pursue a career in banking so that I could learn the financial part of how do you uh, run a business from the financial end, which uh, in partnering with your family, that's such an important aspect of a business. First job at Shively Sporting Goods would have been carrying the garbage out. Uh, used to, uh, went to high school at Bishop David, and Dad opened the store in 1968. And after basketball or football practice, uh, not all the time, but a lot of times I'd find my way back to the store because Dad was still up at 9 o'clock. So I'm sure trying to get me out of his way, I was told to take out the garbage. We've kind of gained the reputation over the years as call Shively Sporting Goods, they'll have it. So people can just, you know, rather than just getting on the phone or something, they'll say, hey, just go there, they'll have it. So that, that's, I'd say that's been our niche, just having some good inventory. It's a crazy busy season, of course, uh, when school starts from July 15th till uh, September 15th, it is absolutely mayhem. Uh, we have every sport starting, we have school starting, uh, and each one of us has our responsibility and, uh, each employee here has an expertise of what sport are they the best at. Um, mine, for instance, is field hockey. Uh, so I have taken the task on to develop and continue um, supplying the girls in field hockey. Football is, of course, our absolute largest um, sport and it has continuously kept us running forever. I've seen a, um, a a non-traditional sport come in to play, which would be lacrosse. Uh, that has really taken off uh, in men's and women's. Um, soccer, of course, is huge, always has been huge, uh, the numbers. You have cross country and track, you have swimming. Uh, these are sports that you don't, uh, can't forget about because it's, it's, uh, it's huge in, in our city. Louisville Slugger is a good connection with us. Louisville Slugger, more than anybody, keeps us abreast of what's going on in our industry. Uh, when there's bat changes and uh, uh, everybody wants the hottest bat. So when, when they come up with something that they feel is hotter than the, their competitions, we're kind of the first person to know about it. As you come in our back door, kind of where our offices and our uh, floor separate, we've got a line of bats there, Louisville Slugger bats, that have my dad's autograph on it. So. Uh, what we did uh, when we were fortunate enough to get uh, the property next door to us, we were able to put in offices and some storage area. So we just got this ideal of uh, this would look kind of cool, baseball related, sporting goods related. And then, uh, then we thought about, well, let's get my dad's autograph on there. So we pulled an old, uh, golly, an order from 1979. I still have it. And I took the copy of it and sent it to Louisville Slugger and they sent us those bats and then we had a guy put them up for us.
Well, I'm still doing the debits and credits, <laughs> and I still don't know that much about sporting goods, <laughs> about the merchandise and everything, but we got good help, so I don't need to. It's the experience that these guys have, that they go out and they know what they're talking about, that they really are good at this business, and I think, and service. They want service, and, and so we try to do that. I think we're here because we take a lot of pride in our community. We love the people in our community. We're very, very strong community-based.